All right, this is Jerry Dime with How to Get Out of Babylon. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTubers. Just got back from a Passover celebration, and first guy I met, and this is all glory to the Heavenly Father, who's was introduced me to two other men, and he said, this man is a legend. I just, just, you know, fascinating that I wasn't even known. I didn't know who he was. Um, I've gone to meetings where people saw this map and they go, oh, I've met me. And they said, oh, I've seen your map. Well, this just happened today, the day after I got back. Got dug out of a locker that was up on the cabin porch and they were moving stuff out to a storage unit that Bill got in. Shirley said, do you want this? And I said, well, yeah, I want that. I said, this map will be in the Museum of Natural History of the Ozark Plateau Refugium. Oh, so there it is. It's, uh, it's all beat up and waterlogged and torn and shredded, but it's still there. So some of my calculations on how many people could fit in here, something like that, I don't know. Quadrants, cedar, Lacleed, Ozark, mm, Barry. Yeah, yeah Barry, I think. Um... 1,500 miles from the west coast, yeah, 500 miles from the west coast, the Rockies, 500 miles from the east coast, the Appalachians, 500 miles from Canada, 500 miles from Mexico. This is the center of the United States, and it is a bioregion. It is indeed a completely different nation, entity, than the rest of the United States and the rest of the world. And Ava, Missouri is about dead center on it, and that's where I've been going, toward Dora, Ava. I'd like to have a headquarters there and one in each quadrant. So, all right, there it is. Drive now or walk later. Come now with your supplies, your family, tools, experience, equipment, everything you own, everything you can drag here and be a part of the solution. Failing to do that, you may come get here, but you may come a wee too late and having lost some of your resources, family and belongings, equipment, physical capability and end up being more of a part of the problem. Drive now or walk later. This is Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon. Head to the Refugium. Look that word up in the dictionary, people. Look that word up in the dictionary. Refugium, where a species or a group of species can survive in the face of complete extinction in the surrounding area. Refugium. We will have that. That was what this was designed for at creation. It is a perfectly designed fortress complete with a 1,000 mile moat around it in the exact center of the United States land mass, future land mass. And it will be organized by an imperium, a time of organization, command, control, communication. Bibles, beans, bandages, bullets, in that order, people, in that order. Bibles, beans, bandages, bullets. Quote, unquote, John Trockman, Militia of Montana. If you have two guns, sell one and get a scanner or a CB or some kind of communication, two-way radio, ham radio. Get medical, get food, get bandages. Prepare to heal people, prepare to feed people, prepare to shelter people. And if you do not that willing if you're not willing to do that, don't come here. Go to the uh, Northwest, the readout states, the last minute, last ditch effort to throw up a earthen rampart in the face of an on onslaught that will be sacrificed to protect the larger fort. What you're looking at right there is the fort. It is the fort. Read George Washington's vision. The inhabitants of the land were driven inland. He saw the United States, the Republic, invaded from both coasts, both borders. And the inhabitants of the land were driven inland into a wedge-shaped pattern. The Ozark Plateau from any direction, north, south, 
east or west presents itself from an aerial from an aerial view as a wedge and it will be packed with people get here help out see you there come talk to me thank you Yahweh bless.